Do you want to be a teacher or a professor? That's one path I'm looking towards. Um, although I'm keeping my options open at this point, there's a chance that I might leave academia in favor of industry. That's pretty solid, man. Alright, looking at this match, we have Waterworld on the red team and Fire with a little bit of ice on the blue team. Is this a token match? I didn't see. Nah, uh, this is just a normal, yeah, normal match. Um, the next token match will be after nine. I think a lot of people will be baited to pick red here because of the water. Depends. Yep, but look at that speed on Octillery. Cynical will get the first hit, which could be could go for a smoke screen. It could go for a smoke screen. It could go for a max power eruption. Uh, it depends. I don't think eruption's best move here. I think if you don't switch on Cyndaquil, which, uh, there's no reason to switch. I think you just smoke screen and hope for the RNG. Well, whatever Blue decides to do, it is completely up to you. See what I did there? Yeah, I see Artillery also has the rest and sleep talk combo up its sleeve. We'll see if that comes to play in this match. Cynical also has an HP grass counter with 70 base power. Can you see a win condition for blue? I personally can't see one. Uh, red throws? Uh, maybe, I mean, there's not, I don't think there's enough money that people have for them to throw. <laughs> Unless you want to throw away like 10% of your stack, which I would never do, personally. Yeah. Alright, so the battle begins. Looks like blue team is going for the smoke screen. No, smoke screen lead. Yeah. Doesn't do much. Water Sprout will take out Cyndaquil. This game is already over. Yep. Water Sprout having maximum power because Octillery is at full health. Looks like Ponyta is going for Body Slam. I didn't think about the para. Maybe that's another one. Ooh, Life Orb. And Water Spout is going to do a little bit less damage than potential, and but it's in, it's still going to be enough. This is most likely a quick 3-0. We'll see what happens with Weavile. I think we have outspeeds everything. Yeah, but he can't really do much damage. Well, we'll see. We're starting out with Mimic, which is kind of a throw move. His main damage, being Blizzard, is countered by the whole team. They all resist him. Yep, that smoke screen paying off now. Water spout missed. And here comes the Razor Fang off of Blue Team. Ooh, not enough. But we do get the flinch, which buys Blue Team another turn. Let's see if they use it wisely. Going for the Thief here. Brings Octillery into the red and steals the Apricot Berry. 
And not so much damage from Water Spout now that Octillery has lost nearly all of its health. And we are out of Water Spout! I'm curious as to why Water Spout was the move. Red not having enough, enough time to pull off that Rest and Sleep Talk combo. We only are taking the place of the defeated o Octillery. Revel goes for Fling again. Flinging that Apricot Berry. A swagger hard swap could have been possible. Oh no, we switched to Whalmer. <laughs> wow. I did that not is... see that coming. Going for another Thief to replenish Fling. Red team going for Waterfall. Will it be enough? Ooh, almost. Nuval going for that Thief. And this game's over. Yep, GG. Alright, Reveal goes down, which means game set and match red team. Alright folks, we're going to go dark for a few minutes while Bex gives us a new stream token. You're watching Twitch Plays Pokemon on Twitch.tv, the largest streaming platform for video games. Twitch Plays Pokemon is supported by ads, subscriptions, and donations from our generous viewers. If you do want to donate, there is an incentive. Um, every dollar that you donate earns you one token, which can what you can use for uh, match bidding, song bidding, pinball, and more. Donation strats. Always look at recent donations. And if you're gonna bet, if you're gonna donate a large amount, just donate three amounts bigger than uh, I did. Thirty day, I think once. 